Welcome back. Remember this? This is new video of the Costa Concordia. That was the cruise ship that ran aground and the captain was blamed for essentially derelict of uh, duty. Well, what it reveals now is the final moments of that doomed ship off the coast of Italy. The ship partially uh, sank back in January. 30 people were killed in that tragedy. And tonight, Fox 5 has uncovered some new video that's raising questions about safety on international cruises. Here's Fox's Lisa Evers on the west side tonight with more on this video. Good evening, Lisa. Well, good evening, Darian and Ernie. Before you get on a cruise ship, you'll want to check out this exclusive video I'm about to show you. It's part of a shocking lawsuit that alleges the evacuation of the Costa Concordia was partially left to a Hungarian gypsy band and that their lack of training cost lives, including one of their own. This is what it looked like to a passenger stuck inside the Costa Concordia after the huge ship hit rocks on Friday the 13th last January. The man wearing the yellow vest is violinist Sander Feher, part of the band providing entertainment for passengers. He was one of the 32 people who lost their lives. He should not have been directing an evacuation, along with his fellow gypsy band members, says their attorney, Peter Rone. No way to communicate, no training, no idea what to do. I doubt they ever put on a life vest in their life, much less tell someone else how to do it in another language. Rone says to comply with international law, all ship staff are required to pass a safety test. He says the mostly Hungarian-speaking troop aced it, but for the wrong reason. At the test they took, they were already given the answers to. That's how they could pass without speaking English. In his lawsuit against the cruise ship's parent company, Carnival, Rone says while the captain is getting blamed for the accident, there was plenty of time to get everyone off alive if those in charge knew what to do. It was absolute chaos. There was no reason for anyone on this ship to die. Convincing a judge that what happened on the ship was wrong may be tough, says former naval officer James Mercanti. Carnival, uh, the coastal line, was in compliance with that because they were still within 24 hours of departure, so they didn't have a requirement by international law uh, to conduct a safety drill yet. Mercanti says anyone taking a cruise should become familiar with their surroundings and remember the acronym CALL. Before I went to the casino, before I went to the restaurant, before I went to the bar, I'd exercise call, C-A-L-L, -L, cabin, abandoned ship station, life jacket, lifeboat. And if you know all that, then uh, you're going to be in good shape in an emergency. Now, we reached out to Carnival, and they referred us to their public relations person. He did not respond to our request for a comment. Now, the lawyer for the Hungarian band members is hoping to convince an American judge to hear this case. And as for the disaster, the Italian Coast Guard is still investigating. We're live on the West Side. I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News.